bus is Max, the dog is Cowboy, and we are Maximalist Minibus. On this channel, we go places and do things. Coming up. Okay, how was that? Was that like YouTube -y enough? Somebody doesn't want to get up. Check this out, huh? We're not alone. It's the Tiny House Festival. Yep, it is the big Massachusetts Tiny House Festival or the Massachusetts Big Tiny House, I don't know. Anyway, the words big, Massachusetts Tiny House, and festival are all in the sentence. And that's where we are today with a bunch of other schoolies, Vardos, Tiny Homes on Wheels, getting ready to show off our houses to the masses, which is scary. I got into a project last night and kind of made a big mess in the bus, which is why I couldn't find Cowboy's leash this morning, but this rope's working out all right. We're taking our little morning constitutional over here by the side of the road where it gets all woodsy. We're at the North Shore Music Theater, which is the site of the big tiny house festival. See, I really wasn't kidding about the mess thing, and I gotta get all this taken care of before anybody shows up. In about two hours, this place is gonna be flooded with people who are here to look at all the tiny houses. And most of them, I'm assuming, are gonna be people who kind of either already have a tiny plan or already maybe are even living tiny but didn't bring their house because it's not on wheels. Or maybe they're just weirdos who like walking through other people's houses. I don't know. Okay, so the day began with a bang, literally. We were parked like butt end up to a big old gas generator and it just never occurred to me that it was gonna run all day. But that's exactly what it's gonna do. My, my neighbor here, my wonderful, friendly, awesome neighbor who owns the Wandering Stage, which is like a, a, a theater on wheels, basically. He brought a stage over here to provide us with entertainment, the musical stuff, all that stuff, but he needs a generator. So he's gonna run this generator all day and it is loud, okay? really loud inside the bus so I gotta move the bus <sighs> okay so moving the bus is turning out to be easier said than done it was really cold last night and I ran the heat for like three hours between last night and this morning my diesel heater is still hooked up to my starting battery, which obviously that's going to have to change, but typically I plug my block heater in if I have shore power, and that gets the, uh, you know, gets the glow plugs warmed up so that I can start, but I didn't, I gave up my shore power because I know they were running low, they didn't have enough spaces with power, so I said, oh, I got solar, no problem. So the block heater didn't run. So the glow plugs are cold. When the glow plugs are cold, I have to crank more. When I have to crank more, the battery gets low. Okay. The thing is, my big old diesel engine needs a lot of battery juice to crank. You'll know this if you ever get a diesel bus. Luckily, I have this amazing thing. Okay, so there's this part, right? This is the, this is basically a lithium battery. Okay, and this one is this one is powerful enough to charge my crazy um, 7.3 diesel. You can get a less heavy duty one, but that's what I need for this. And then you've got this piece, which has the, you know, clippy things. They look so wimpy on here, but trust me, they're not wimpy. These clip onto the battery like normal. Then this blue thing plugs into the top of this. And I can't do it and shoot it at the same time, so I'm gonna do it right now, okay? Okay, it's done. Wait do you see how fast this starts. That is music to my ears. Well, I haven't moved that far, like maybe 10 feet closer into the circle, but I can already tell. It's world's better. And you can still hear the generator, but now we're closer to the stage, so we're more gonna hear the music. 
You gotta get one. I don't think anybody should be on the road without one. You remember how I did that video about my generator, how great it was to have a generator, how you gotta have a generator, blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't have a generator anymore. And the reason I don't is that little thing. The main reason I needed it for backup is because I have experienced all, any problem you can have with a diesel, I've experienced with this thing. And generally it involves not starting. Okay, the two big things that I live in fear of are, number one, the glow plugs being cold, which was all the time before I got a block heater. Number two, getting water in the fuel, which was all the time before I got my fuel senders fixed. Both of those results in a lot of excess cranking on the battery. One of the reasons I was really attached to having the generator is I had this AC powered battery charger thingy that I had used when I got in those situations but now I have this thing and it's USB and it even has little like USB ports on it like everything has USB ports on it nowadays it seems but you can even charge your cell phone with it but honestly between that and my little handheld mini solar packs I don't feel the real need to have a gas generator anymore so take that smug solar guy on Facebook what's his name yeah that guy He's an a but he's right. Anyway, problem solved thanks to my little friend, the Beat It Jumper. I don't know if that's the official name, but it says Beat It on the... Anyway, look in the comments. The right name will be there. I should not be sitting down. I should finish getting ready. People are going to be here in like half an hour, but... <sighs> But I'm just a little, um, I had to sit down and kind of regroup because this is the first event I've been to that the whole purpose of being here is to show off the bus. You guys have seen Max. You've seen like every inch of Max, probably more than you even want to. You've seen the inside of my closet, which these people are not going to see, believe me. I sell at Broomfield and all that, but I go there to sell antiques and it just happens that I meet a few people who want to see the bus. Here, people are coming here just to see the bus. There's going to be a lot slicker setups here. I haven't even been inside any of the other vehicles and I know it just makes me a little tiny bit nervous. I don't know why. I'm gonna try to put that aside. I'm gonna assume everybody's gonna love my bus as much as I do and get on with it. Oh, I need is right in front of me. We're just getting the doors open. I decided I'm gonna make this a promotional opportunity because why not? So I have my laptop. It's gonna be running all day with my channel trailer on it. So as people come in, they're just gonna be more or less forced to watch me. crammed into a corner over here because there's really nowhere to stand because there are so many people in this bus. I never imagined there would ever be this many people in this bus. It's crazy. It's exciting. Some people can just not I love the fact that he's living outside. You pop open these two doors and you're essentially yeah, outside. Yeah, that's what right? it feels like. One thing I have not had is a line. These guys, these bigger buses, they've had a line all day. A little bit jealous, I have to say. But then I remember that, okay, if you look at how their lines are set up, the people go in this, the door and then they come back out the same door. So it's gonna be kind of jammed up, right? I don't have that, I have perfect flow. I have an indoor and an outdoor, and I even have this big side door that people can like look in through to see the whole bus anyway. So I'm just very, I am more ergonomic, right? That's why I don't have a line, because I'm ergonomic. Right. Yeah, when, when I wasn't getting out of the Navy, so I didn't. Right. And you don't know what you're going to end up doing. I heard he died of poverty in the DEF as well. Wow, they gave him away to a family with a big yard. Yeah. 
I'm back in my little cocoon. I'm getting tired of talking. And you know, you guys know I like to talk, so yeah, that's going somewhere. I get tired of talking. Koba was excited about this for like three minutes, and he's just been sleeping ever since. Guys, look! I have a line! <laughs> okay, so I finally have a lull. It's been intense. It's been a really busy day. A lot of people in and out of that door. A lot of people in that door and out this door. Checking everything out. And um, I gotta say it's been an ego boost because a lot of people said how much they liked the bus. A lot of people said it was their favorite. Probably say that to all the buses, you know, all the tiny houses. But it made me feel good anyway. And um, the word that keeps coming up is homey. And you know, I. I mean, it's homey to me because it's my home, but I didn't expect it to be homey to so many people. But yeah, you know, I've hesitated to take a lot of video of the people coming in because I don't know how that all works. You know, I could have put out a big sign that said, if you come in this bus, you're automatically agreeing to have your likeness used. But, you know, we used to do that in the film industry, but I don't know if that works on YouTube. So I just, without and just being just plain shy about doing all this, I didn't really shoot the people, but they're, trust me, they've been here. Now, I'm just uh, kind of, you know, I haven't had a break, I haven't eaten, I haven't peed. It's just been non-freaking-stop, and... Okay, I have an old friend who is um, one of the musicians here. I think he might be the organizer of the music, and he's on stage right now. And, um, you know how, like, when you're using a... I don't know if you shoot videos, you guys, but you know how when someone's using a selfie stick, and they're using the selfie camera so it's facing toward them there's a whole other camera facing the other way and sometimes people think you're shooting them right so the camera's aimed at them you must be shooting them and a lot of people get pissed off about it but not everybody gets pissed off about it some people do this I don't know, maybe it's mean, but when I saw this, I had to turn the camera around and show you. He's been doing that for like the last five minutes and couldn't figure out what he was doing because I'm just in here talking to myself and then I realized, oh, he thinks I'm filming him. So, yeah, I better turn the camera around and film him because that might save face. <laughs> Plus, it's funny. I hope that's not mean, but... This is the end of my first tiny house festival. Yes, it's the end because I just did a little editing trick and skipped completely over Sunday day because it's basically the same as Saturday day, right? A lot of people, four questions. Where do you pee? How do you cook? Where's your bed? Did you build it yourself? Four questions over and over again. Lots of people, a lot of people loved the bus. Probably some people didn't, but they kept their mouths shut, which is how I like it. So now I'm getting ready to go over to our potluck dinner that we're having. See, the thing about having a potluck dinner with a bunch of people who brought their own kitchens is they brought their own kitchens. They could make some fabulous meals. Except me, of course. Do I have any food? No. I brought with me two microwave meals and two cans of dog food. Wasn't really thinking about the group experience. It's because I'm a novice at this whole tiny house thing. So I didn't realize, you know, what a bonding experience the whole thing was going to be. And actually, day one wasn't much of a bonding experience because everybody was so busy minding their own house that nobody even got to talk to each other. Not until we sat down to eat Chipotle together last night did we really even get to chat. But now, yeah, we still don't know each other at all. But at least we met. I got to interview a couple people, and um, those interviews are going to be posted later. It's just different episodes. So now, if you were thinking this video was going to be that video that goes into all the houses and shows you what everything looked like and made you feel like you were at the Tiny House Festival, yeah, I think you figured out by now it's not that video. Sorry. Thanks for sticking around, though. <laughs> oh, hang on. One more thing. I just want to give a shout-out to my girl, Gina, who embarked on her own bus adventure starting today. Gina, we love you. 
We're proud of you. Go get it. Oh, be kind to the beggar that's inside of you and the fiend that you are hiding to. Until he's been